I've spent the last decade writing about stuff that is, for lack of a better term, pretty weird. How to run a car on used vegetable oil. Diving for sunken treasure. Learning what happens to the brain during sensory deprivation. Eating bugs and frogs. What it feels like to get tased. What it feels like to tase someone. What it feels like to get bit by an electric eel. Then while on assignment in Greece in 2011, I saw something that absolutely confounded me. I watched as a New Zealand man named William Truebridge took a single breath of air, upturned his body, and swam down 300 feet below the ocean's surface. Truebridge wasn't using scuba. He wasn't even wearing fins. This didn't make any sense to me. The pressure at 150 feet is enough to crush a Coke can. At 300 feet, it collapses the human lungs to the size of two baseballs. On land, the equivalent pressures would kill us, but not in the ocean. Truebridge resurfaced from his deep dive four minutes later in perfect health. I learned soon after that the ocean had different rules and requires a completely different mindset to truly comprehend. I spent the next two years exploring the human connection to the sea, from the surface to the deepest trenches. What I discovered is that we're born of the ocean and we live our lives more tightly tied to its waters than anyone would possibly believe. I too started freediving. I too went deep. 